destroy the Packard. I don't know, do you think this will start, Tom? Well, I, I kind of have my doubts. <laughs> yeah, me too, buddy. Is there a battery in it? Well, I can get one. Uh, what do we need? Yeah, the rig is still hooked up, so we... Oh, I believe there's even gas. Let me just check. We might have you to know, get these other down ones. Down the fucking highway, the rest of the snow will blow up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what doesn't will come off when it crashes. <laughs> when it's broken over. Yeah. Man, wouldn't it be cool if we had the hole room in, eh? Uh, let's, uh... Either that or fill the holes. <laughs> yeah, or mud the holes in. That'd be easier. Frankers, what are you doing? Say I'm having fun. It is kind of chilly. Yeah. It's nice in here. Let's take the hood off of the Packard. Right? Maybe? Well. I'm not saying it will start. Is there a crank cord? <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine cranking that baby over my hand? Fuck. She snuck out. She snuck out on me. Once Once I was locking up the shop and still oh. ran back in right before I locked yeah. the door and it was night and I didn't see her. Yeah. I fucking ran around for 20 minutes yelling for her. Yeah. yeah. Like, what happened to Stella? Yeah. Well, you know. She was sitting there. She wouldn't say shit. She just sat right by the yeah, door, yeah. never barked. Yeah, yeah. Ignition. Well, I guess you're gonna have to tell me if the fuel is drawing. All right, Packard uh, cold start today. Got to move it anyway, so let's see if she goes. Okay, puppy's out of the way. I don't know where she. There is. she comes. No, I'm just filling the carburetor. Looks like it is, kind of. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah, okay, it's quick now. Just has to go straight ahead of well, feet, but, well, yeah. Just why don't you just move it up in front of all of these three here, and then yeah, it can kind of stay just there. Stay there. Yeah. It can roll back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I yeah. love the smell of this car. Hey. Okay. Uh, smells like old, smells like like old yeah. burning oil. Yeah. Fraggers, have you got a toy? Bring it here. Come here. What have you got? <laughs> you missed it, Frank or Franks. Here we go, Frankers. <laughs>
Check it out. Oh, wow. Isn't that something? Look at that. What's you know that what that's for? for? You recognize the cormorant? Oh, dude, who sent that to you? Uh, Peter Johnston, it says. Oh, my God. Just to show it up in a huge box. It's for the Packard. That is awesome. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That'll make the car. Yeah. Well, we should I mean, almost put that on right now. Well, I think that we might. <laughs> the, uh, look, all the fasteners are there. Yeah. Oh, it's ready to go on. One, two, three. Oh, eight. gosh. Yeah, that's six cool. holes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what else is funny? <laughs> look how well it fits the Plymouth. Uh oh. It lines up beautifully. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, I don't think I could do it, but still, it's pretty awesome. We'll put it on the backer for sure. That is. Uh... That's that just really exceedingly cool. generous and unnecessary. Probably worth more than the rest of the car put together. <laughs> it's in such nice shape. Well, all the wings I are mean, there. And yeah. Right? Everything's there. Yeah. Uh, this is great because the Packard is going to end up on the lot now because I'm putting the Ford truck inside. So this will this will be sitting front and center in front of the door there. Very cool. I tell you, there was a few things I was not expecting and that's one of them. <laughs> How to reassure your, your girlfriend's father? Yeah, <laughs> show him in a 61 Belvedere <laughs> with 12 <laughs> Leafs in the back. <laughs> or a Nash, eh? Getting near the end of the metal work, at least on this fender. Something fishy is going on in here. Possibly related to this old repair. More than likely. Seems to be really wonky, the big high spot here. and Probably filled in there. Something that looks like hell up there. So, I'm just going to dig that out and see what's there. If it's nothing, great. But chances are it's going to need a certain amount of hammering. So I'd like to get that done rather than, uh, rather than slow down later. There's not a lot left. There's not a lot left, Frank or Franks. I'm, I'm kind of busy right now. Can you uh, let me finish this? Yes, okay. Well, took some of the paint back. And it's uh, pretty much exactly what we expected here. Uh, let's have a look. Really, just old body filler. Bit of a dent. Kind of, you know, pretty, just a conventional old light collision repair from back in the day. A little bit of a ding here. I don't know, we're not going to get too worried about it. Uh, so... But I, I thought it was actually worth noting that this was fixed at a pretty commercial type operation back uh, probably close to 50 years ago with the uh, evil Bondo. And it's fine, you know, like it's, I'm going to have to grind every little bit of that out of there. There's nothing wrong with it. It's stable. It didn't shrink. It didn't fall off. It's, uh, you know. The problem isn't Bondo, it's putting it on top of improperly repaired surfaces. I mean, that, that worked fine. I mean, you could, I could probably just refinish that. Uh, you know, just tidy it up and keep going. But I'm not going to, we're going to take it out. But there's nothing wrong with that. Except right here, a little bit of a flake. So, anyway, uh, yeah, just kind of... Uh, I've had other cars where repairs done 50 years ago are, are still fine. And, uh, you know, this wasn't anything fancy. You can see just multiple layers of just commercial grade quickie fender bender bullshit. All just fine. Kind of cool. So, mm, quite, it's really just been beat down here. And, I, I'm probably to take a kink and or so, something. Anyway, that's bad. It's very, it's kind of a wrinkle in here. But, I mean, we'll get it better than this. So I'm going to just do that. This is actually all not bad. This is the only part here that's kind of shitty. We might try to just drive that all back out a bit. I think they just overdid it a bit there. A little carried away, perhaps. Looks like there was a vertical kink coming from this hole. And 
anyway, who knows? That's it's uh if you can see. There's a look at the fender roughed in. Not really much to it. The kink is gone out of it here. And this is a lot better in here. Still not perfect, but it's uh, it's plenty good enough. Uh, that will all sort out nicely now. And uh, this fender I do not know the history of, other than I bought it at the same place that I bought oh, something. This is the fender I bought right away, as soon as I started on the car. I don't know what, uh, I don't know the history of the car that this fender came from, but it looks like the fender has factory primer, factory white paint, another coat of primer, a color change to this kind of cream color, and then uh, more primer, presumably from this repair, different color. Then another repaint, probably meant to be similar color to that. <clears throat> and up here we see factory primer, factory white paint, overspray from here, and then factory yellow paint, and then a coat of primer, and then this repaint, which is presumably the same color as this, and this primer presumably from this same repair here. Um, so for this to have all been done um, in these materials, it was all done quite a while ago. That's just straight enamel with lacquer primer. And then the uh, factory was something very similar. Overall though, terrific fender, very happy with it. Really almost no body work to do other than taking hammer marks out. Uh, it's gonna go pretty quickly once we get going. I'm very much looking forward to getting this thing finished in, in primer. Be really cool to see it. Just walking right on through. That's all right. <laughs> so, what do you think? Did I pass, boss? Oh, yeah, looks good. You're the British car division. Oh, that's real nice. Not bad. Nice. nice uh, I drive it around. Jeez. That's for sure. Like back in the day, you could have painted your Lotus with John Deere green and mm -hmm. called it British Racing Green, and it would have been fine. Yep, that's exactly Nobody right. Cared wrinkle or what do they call this textured black uh around, oh, around the cockpit shit. Oh, it's all coming apart so mirrors to go uh what's uh, left beside the mirrors a couple more clips getting the clips on and still have to polish the engine cover but uh, it's cool i kind of wish i had one now we should all have one. Right? Yeah, not just me. I'd like everybody. Al was thinking that we should uh, repop shells like this that fit on your snowmobile. Oh, 
let us know if you're right. Let us know. <laughs> if you want to show whistle off you, we'll, we'll make a couple dimensions okay. off you. Right. It's pretty yeah. hefty down payment, but we'll, <laughs> we'll get after it. He has vintage wheels and everything for it. Yeah, like proper mags. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Don Whopper Pirelli would seem appropriate, wouldn't it? You think? Yeah, probably some sort Dunlop, of... Dunlop, I would say. Yeah, I would say a Dunlop. I think a Dunlop is your tire. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> and I... Man, we need to get some yeah, race cars, eh? Yeah, you got some tire paint over there, right? So no matter what it gets, right? we can... Our, ours would have white walls. Yeah, they'd have white walls that say Dunlop. That's a... kind of a fun thing. I hope that we get a chance to see it as a finished car here. What's up, Mini Mini? Come on, buddy. If you do any amount of uh, this type of car, this is you're going to run into, obviously. Gas pedal falling off of the floor. Most of these old forward look cars, this is just kind of hanging underneath the car somewhere. And here we've got a relatively decent one. Uh, there's supposed to be one. Uh, stud and not on the bottom as well and the whole kind of assembly here is uh, you know the bottoms missing and, and anyway so just one of those shitty jobs you don't really want to do but I don't really think at this point I have any choice but to uh, try to rebuild something very similar yes can I help you? I was trying to do a, a, a little gas pedal segment here. Well, sorry. Well, that'll get us started. It's roughly, this is largely theoretical. Uh, probably going to be something like that. And I think I'm replacing this part of the floor. Uh, anyway, we'll see. If I'm wrong, eh. It's not the hardest part of the car. Let's make the gas pedal support brace bracket. Uh, I moved the car in here today with no gas pedal and it sucks. Because I had a piece of trimmer string tied around the carb linkage and it wasn't quite long enough. And I kept dropping it, but there's no floor. So it kept falling in the snow. And... Cut to Dean. Hey, what you guys? You want to come down here and give an honest deal here? <laughs> honest Deans? <laughs> <laughs> honest Deans, is this honest your Deans weekly guy, sketchy yeah. flip? What are we calling greasy flips yeah, this week is the Packard. Guy, yeah. oh. How much are you going to flip this canoe for? First, you know, 50 feet or... 50 minutes. Or... 195 bucks. <laughs> and we're back. Let's cut this baby out. There we have the rough cut uh, pattern or replacement rather. So I don't know. We'll shape it up a little more and then we'll mark uh, the holes and we'll drill all those. But I think I'll just get the shape close first. And then we'll install some studs in it so that it can be installed in the car. They would call, I think, a reasonable facsimile if you were trying to get something out of a cereal box. So what's left is to uh, weld these uh, uh, screws to it and then grind the tops down so they look more like the original ones and cut that uh, that shaft or to the right length and put a blob on the end of that. <clears throat> and then I'll probably very quickly wire off, wire wheel off the uh, gas pedal button. Dust that black and maybe our new piece can go the same way. And that's all ready to put back in the car as soon as the floor is in. So that's next. So, Ash is here. What do we got? What do we got here, boss? Looks like some old sketchy repairs, combined with okay. some soon-to-be-new sketchy repairs. So, oh, neighbor, it's like it's yeah, okay. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, and it'll slow. Look oh, I know. Fucking thing. Oh, I know, man. Is that something you can buy? No. 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 <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> oh yeah, well we kind of expected all that, so like whatever. Gonna, it's just all Is that a repair? Yeah. Oh, it's all layered up, hey. <laughs> oh yeah, just gonna take a minute. <laughs> 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 all right, let's get started. Okay, just making the rocker panel. Got some steel cut, and we have our we had the pattern that we keep losing. Here it is. So that's the oops. There's the welding return. This is the lower leg, and that's what we're measuring up here. And we're looking pretty reasonable there. So before we get too far, I'll just give it a quick check with the caliper. Okay, 35. Five, so we gotta come out 30 seconds of an inch. Now I'm at 70. 70. 70. Plus 80. 75. Good enough. Okay, so this one uh, is uh, this is like 30 degrees. So we're gonna pull 30 and then we're gonna move it out. Uh, Looks like less than half an inch, and then we're so this is like almost like a radius. Right. Okay. Right. And again, it's the bottom of the van, so we're gonna we're gonna get her pretty close here. Okay. So same deal. Thirty. Yeah, Thirty. That's about thirty. All right. Okay. Slide her up. You will get crisper ends than you will in the middle, so we're measuring from the ends. You got about three eighths of an inch. Back down a bit. More. Okay, go. How's that look? There and here. Mm, pretty good. Yep. And then. Looks pretty good. Pretty right close. Here. Okay. Yeah. Let's do another 30. Okay. Is that? Okay, let's see. Well, our total should be. There's not really any. Way of checking it, or is it? That's, that's really close, I think. Uh, let's take it out of there and check it. Slide it out of it. We gotta go a little more. Do we? I think so. If you look at that, I'm still still loose here, right? Okay. So put it back and go another five degrees or so. All right, digging in there. Just give it a little. One, two, three. Good. Let's try that. Yeah, that's good. Oh my. Yeah, yours went a little more than mine, I think. Okay. Well, that would be alright. Um, what we're going to have to do is straighten mine out a little way. Yeah, just push it back in. Okay, don't worry. Tighten yours down roughly. Oh, that's pretty good. That looks pretty clever. Okay. This one is about 60 degrees, right? And then we've got our final return to oh. vertical, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now. That's 60 degrees. Okay, ready? Yeah. Two, three. Better because it's hard to undo. It. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Check it. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Slide it out. Yours seems 
more than mine. Hmm. Well, we're pretty close. That's pretty good. Good. I'm going to go back the other way then, which would be this return here. Right? Yeah, but. Oh, right. We're not, right. We're not doing that <laughs> other thing, that's right? That's so awesome. Yeah, that's right. It's like it's flipped around the other way, and then we're done. We just take it out, flip it over, measure both sides are the same, and, and that's done. And you, Oh, and then we got the one that's actually <laughs> any amount of work. Well, and listen, you've just given me yeah. probably four days of work Great. by that's having this. Right. So really what we should do is that little, I'll do that little piece. And then I have a ship pile of welding to do. Steven! Hey boss, what's happening? Okay. Breaking booty van panels. What nice. are you doing? Oh, thinking. Thinking? Yeah. Oh, I'm trying not to, trust me. She gets you nothing but grief. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's bullshit. Well, that's really good. So we'll, I'm going to do whatever you got here. Okay. Down here. Which would be this has to be garbage, hey? Eh? So I say that that's our guy right there. And now we go. What's our hand? We lift until this is not quite. Well, you don't want to fix your. Camera. Your relation, you're almost parallel to to this guy, right? So we want to go to this sure. till that is almost flat, okay? And good. A little more. Okay, good. Let's see. A little more. No, no. We don't want to do it again. No, a little more, right? That <laughs> looks really good. Where's our pattern? Just watch. This is the thing now, right? You got to film this just so we know it's not fake. Oh, that's fucking good, dude. Yeah, that's you're done. A, that's impressive. Okay, good. Good for you. That is impressive, dude. That's Look at nice that. Piece. Look at that. There you go. Thank you. If Jim had his puncher here, do you have a flange puncher? No, I'm going to buy one, though. Yeah, okay. I'm going to buy an air one. Buy two. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Deal. You couldn't ask for that to fit better. Well, and you paid big money for those repop pieces. It's all you get. It's not like they've got the Ford die. You, you don't get, get something with a no, break. No, the, the it's arch. It's made with a break. You know the front wheel arch? Yeah. It's not even close. Yeah. It's not even close. This doesn't fit even close. Yeah. And I need to put one of them on. Yeah. The well, one side yeah, I'm going to patch you get it. get it close, put a few screws in it, get it close and foam me, and I'll come over and we'll beat on it, and I'll be like, there. Right. But just get it close. That's killer. Yeah, well, there you go, Steven. There's... There's the before. No, it's exactly the right length, too. Butter in it here. It really is. <laughs> All right. Yeah, awesome. Oh, that's Very terrific. Good. That is. Uh, that was the worst part on the whole car for rust, really. And that rocker panel is nice and straight now. Yeah, really great. Thanks, man. Fucking looks oh, killer. Yeah, no, that's our uh, yeah. Nice. yeah. And we got one more piece to put underneath there, and. Uh, that's it for this side, so really good. <coughs> nice, and then uh, AC job. AC, rear. Oh yeah, Hollywood. what's next, eh? Everything. Those Ooh, speaker yeah. things, those might be a nice cherry pick job. Oh yeah, <laughs> right? You yeah. get in there early, you get those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. After the big rocker repair challenge, winner gets the speaker. The winner gets the speaker <laughs> gravy, yeah. Yeah, well, once the back is cut off, we have to tackle, like, what's going on here, right there. That's all caved in. 
So the back of the DS has been in an accident at some point in the past and it was rudely hammered out and uh, this rear panel is... <laughs> wow, it's poor. Look at the dents in it. I mean, it's really badly dented and just beat to death and kind of rusty and kind of shitty. It's shitty in here. Just Bondo falling off of it from however many years ago repair. The brass here. Yeah, it's been brazed and patched. Brass and Bondo and just everything it's, in there. It's uh, lots of damage around in front of it. Ditto on this side. Uh, so the car was hit, presumably in the back. All this went ahead, buckled everything, and then they just yarded this rudely out. Were we saving this wiring? I thought yes. it was good, but then I looked up to the... Uh... Oh. Uh, yes, the we're saving it. Looks yeah, new, eh? we'll save well, it. Well, we can save it, Only yeah. because we might want the fittings there. Okay. There we go. Saved. Saved. Saved for later. Uh, okay, pretty straight ahead. And a nice, good for a change, nice quality reproduction part. Actually quite quite good, quite well done. So, uh, kind of a no-brainer to replace this guy. Okay, time to put the floor repairs into the 60. Uh, I've got it just roughly butched out of there. I'm going to go in and clean it all up now. Then we're going to trim everything to fit properly, and then we're going to start installing everything. There's the uh, body uh, brace repair in, still warm. Um, I'm just going to grind that now, not because I care what it looks like, just so that there's not any of this uh, making the, the floor fit tricky. So, uh, turned out fine. Lines up nice, so there's the uh, body mount hole. Okay, that's her. It's, uh, you know, we are not getting too fancy here. That's just going in there, structure only. Uh, okay, I'm going to put that in and grind this down. All right, what's next? Okay, I think this is just about ready to go. All right, well, moving along. Uh, that guy's done, that guy's now in. All that's left is the pan itself. Uh, that's uh, a bit of a bear. Yeah, no, you're a, you're a glass half full guy. Factory cut? Glass half full of vodka Factory, today. Yeah. Over half vodka, but yeah, look at you guys. That looks more like thought these, it was a ginger ale. It's a vodka and coke. He says, <laughs> "Dee's gonna get us some off the windshield. We gotta go, man." <laughs> <laughs> We're at the uh, Center for Cultural Enrichment. Get the Fraser out. One of the last drives. It's all snowy now. I had to go say hi to me. <laughs> you gonna run those, uh, that's quite the setup, eh? Oh, the Primeras? Oh, yeah. <laughs> with, the, with the four inch lift. What are those? Well, ones? it's funny. It's a 175. It's actually, it's like a six inch shackle. Yeah, with a, a, with a Is it a over. shackle flip? It's a, no, it's a shackle with. Here, let me grab some light. <laughs> Holy! And the back piece, they welded on a flat plate. It had 14 by 10 uh, craggers <laughs> on the back when we got it. Oh. They were knockoffs, they weren't even real. I have those 14, 10. Those would go on here. Oh, this is big bolt pattern, This right? is big bolt pattern. They would go on here. It's tonight's classic dart. What year is this dart, gentlemen? It's a 74. I'm pretty big right now, wow. Right on. Whoop. It's actually my birthday, so. Happy 50. Woo! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Came by. Came by to look at some classic darts. 1973. Four. Four. Sorry. Oh, they look the same anyway. Factory 360 dart. Right. 
So this is a, the dart project for the year. We're going to be doing classic dart updates. Uh, the dart hood hinge sound is the but best sound. All, like side to side clapped out, hey? Yeah. Usually when you're sitting the light with a slant six, the back of your hood is like tapping. It's going. So, yeah. goes... Just wearing the inside of the fenders off. Uh, so, how much of this do you have to change for your evil plan? For modern powertrain, mm -hmm. um, I have to change the steering box and mm -hmm. that's it. Steering box and I gotta put an oil pan on the engine. Change the mounts? Or nope. is the mounts themselves are got crazy? The mounts themselves bolt to the engine. Yeah. And this is the 73 and newer type, so it's spool type. Mm -hmm. So, nice. it's only a few places it's selling, but. Yeah, and it'll go. And then it'll go, yeah. So they make pretty much everything to swap them in now. You can bolt right. it to a factory 727, I'm told, so. It'll get the factory 727 and column shift back in it. Nice, for the misses. What a treat. So are you guys gonna do any Galen fun stuff with it? Get to black out your fenders? Oh yeah, you have to. Get to black out a few things, right? I think this gets black out. I saw another. This gets blacked out. You can see. You uh, see cars without the blackout. It's just. Uh, it's just pretty the start of a solid, eh? Yeah, it is actually really. Like we didn't really do any of this. Those, here, right? those fenders in the hood and the. Oh no, we put it. part of this right. One of these is um, we made the top of the one. rail. This one here, that one yep. was good. This one yeah. underneath where the fender is was yeah. bad, but the top half was good. Yeah. Good fenders. The fenders, the hood, and the doors is what started the whole project. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy to look at it a year later and really be really be happy with it. It looks really good. It, it, it's, it's the, the best color. color. I know, I love this. This is color. the best color. It's originally that avocado green. Right. On the floor, it's so bad. Oh, yeah, it was a little bit... Well, that's not my thing that doing colors but I do love it I love the color I love the I'm really happy that we got it to fit so dart sport 364 we're all 74 and then hmm and sequence so Paul's got the fender tag in hiding we actually put the car together and then repainted it inside here again do exactly what they did in uh... well you right you gotta that would have been bolted together before it was painted, so... <laughs> right? I love the rattle nice can. rattle yeah, can, rattle. Dustin, man. A couple cases of rattle cans. And How many rattle cans did it take you to dust this thing? Six... Uh, nine. Nine? Yeah. I bought two Pretty boxes. Good. How long? I took a week. <laughs> <laughs> Your finger must have been killing you. By the end of it, yeah, just the end of my finger was just dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bought the first case and thought, okay, how can yeah, that's right. six not do this? I was like, okay, this will be more than enough, and I'll have some spare paint left over, and then I have to go back and buy more. Nice, nice job on the emblem too, hey? Yeah. Woo. <clears throat> it was all spray painted, yeah, uh, John Deere uh, yellow. Oh, that's terrible. So the goal is, what's the goal? To put a late model Hemi engine with an automatic? Uh, an 06 SRT8 Hemi, yeah. a 6.1, the factory 727, right. and uh, a 276 Sure Grip in it. And right. Just and automatic on the column, the Hemi staying stock yeah. and thing, but yeah. um, the GTX starts instantly yeah. and yeah. never moves them down. So I thought, okay, fuel injection's nice for that for Kira, so. Yeah. Great. And we're going to put all the factory interior stuff in it. That's going oh, to be yeah. the biggest part. That's going to be some... Well, it's all the Galen stuff. It's just straight money, money, for, money yeah. Right? Just yeah, money, sure. money, 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 yeah. more money, more money. Oh, money. Well, even under here, like under the driver's floor pan. Yeah. Look how nice the driver's floor pan is. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty clean. Good. The shackles well, kept it off the ground. And it's... Uh, put shackles on your car. It's all ready to go back together. Yeah, take the dash out, start there, and uh, then. Right. Yeah. Do that right. and. Get going. Just gonna take a piece off every day. Put a piece on. At the least the wheel lip moldings are on. I know, that's the best part, hey? The wheel that's the only part the that Paul specified. Those, I'd like to pretend that that was easy. 
Those are never no, easy. I know. Don't let it turn into my classic shelf where I keep my shit for my other stuff. Oh, no, Karen, tell me how to die. <laughs> this is a pretty nice scar, man. Well, literally, the hard work is done. Right? And, and we I didn't was... get mental, right? Like. No. So, but all the rubber hoses should be replaced. All the fuel system has to get replaced. And I'm changing, I guess I, I'm going to change these brake lines because these are what we did in high school. Pulled oh, off this car yeah. 17 years ago. Oh, I know, right? I got cars that I bought 33 years ago. I bought that uh, Fury that's in my garage. Good. Well, so what happens next? Strip the other car? Uh, I'm not stripping that car till I'm ready. Or... That's the last. Uh, I think we do bumper and tail lights first, and then weather stripping in the back, and then gas tank, all the rear ends. Be nice of hitting a button to, to start them sometimes for that, but I like starting six barrels in extreme temperatures. I miss that nice we, I'm and sad we didn't get to take the B out and do some six barrel burns. Oh, we'll have to in the spring, we'll have to get all the fuel out of it. It doesn't take long to burn though. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll put together some classic tires. Coming next yeah. May, classic tire burn off. Now I got something, so now I have a reason to live. <laughs> Thank you for giving me back a reason to live. I'm, now I'm 50 years young. This stuff all takes time. Every piece of this is going to take time. Well, and this wiring too, it's right? been hacked into so many times, so I got to replace it all. Like this had trailer wiring put on, on several different occasions. Oh, you'll have to get This had one of those hydraulic brake controllers on it when we first got it. Like, you know, the ones that... Oh, the yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so those things, that's with all this hitch and all this stuff. Why was the guy pulling? Because it has 360. 360, yeah. 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 Pretty much a Dodge pickup truck. Yeah. Tidying up the set. That's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Well, well I don't know. I thought that Everything's was relative. There we go. That does look a little better. Oh, fuck, eh? What do you got? Look at what showed up today on Classic Darts. What, uh... I think I found that in Viking. Viking, eh? I think that's from Viking. That's a, uh, that's a 60 Savoy two-door posty. Nice car. That's pretty Good cool. Yeah. Guy. There's not even an actual show called there's Classic there's Darts. None of this is real. It's just yet another eminence front brought to you by <laughs> Cold War Motors. Has anybody met this guy yet? No, I don't think we've this ever is featured. Vincent? Young Vincent? <laughs> he's fucking easy. Stop for a dart on he's the bridge. Yeah. He rolls his own though. He's European. So what are you guys smoking? You got DeMauriers and Exports? Oh, I'm just running the McDonald's. McDonald's, oh, yeah. McDonald's. We're, we're nearing the end of these red packs. We'll get to that later in the segment. Well, it's good because, you well, know, we this is a hard-hitting show. Yeah. yeah, we were running out of content. So fortunately, the government is providing you. Yeah. yeah. That's not, apparently. Like, You'll have to fill me in. I don't hear we're anything about this. decades of fucking hard-fought battle. Uh, really? Yeah, this is a big thing. They've been to do what? What are they that. trying to do? Here's the thing, right? All right, let's. Get, I don't let's, get let's, it. Let's get into you know, it. You see how smoke packs used to be nice, right? They used to represent well, the brand yeah, you were right? purchasing. It was a plain pack, just a pack with the picture. And now you right? see. You see the creeping bureaucracy. It's, it's 2019 right now, November, right? and you see this is how we're looking. Right, you're down and to we got this much ad. You compare that. Right. I mean, you get 10% to advertise your brand. So what right, do they do? Right. But to get around that, uh -huh. see, they're they're clever. The cigarette, the evil cigarette companies. Right. They they've beveled the corners here. See, look. Oh wow! Like not like these sharp corners of a fucking what? These what shitty packs. About? Well, so look at this. All that this subtle. Oh, it's nice. It's nice though, it, and it draws you in, and it makes you think, wow, what a nice thing. And they've got embossing. You can't feel that through the camera, but I can feel it with my finger. No kidding. That's embossed. Now, oh, so the, the government says that packaging. that is not allowed. Plainpack.ca. Find out more. Ask your clerk or visit. 
plain packed out yeah, I'm going to guarantee your clerk doesn't know a fucking thing about it. <laughs> so just save yourself the fucking hassle and shitty conversation. Now look at this. Your current pack will soon be illegal. Oh, I'm going to get fucking really? arrested in the right. streets if I'm smoking out of Careful. this fucking pack. Why? Now you see what they're going to do. You're not allowed. I'm, I repeat, not allowed to bevel the fucking corners. That's fancy. You can't do that. Soft packs, not allowed anymore. Why? They're too cool. Look at the old movies from the 50s, all the cool guys, they had soft packs. Really? So you can't have soft packs, can't have beveled corners, can't have any embossing. And then, no if that's not the enough, cool guys if have... that's not enough, they've fucking now said you can't even have colors. So this what? color here, this background color, this beautiful brown, and I might add, it's like I picked it, because it's a lovely yeah, fucking a nice color. Brown, yeah. Every single brand of cigarettes yeah. is going to have that brown. I don't want to smoke. Justin doesn't want to smoke. None of us want to smoke. Well, I mean, I like to smoke this. We're fucking to forced smoke. to by the, the corporations. Oh, I With their see. fancy embossing uh, yeah. and their corner beveling and their... The world's insane. Oh. <laughs> and we're back. Shit got off the rails again. Yeah, that's right. We're back. Wow. And to we're save gonna, editing, we just stopped. Gonna, just to save me having to erase it later. Free will. Mm -hmm. That's alright, though. I've got a service to fucking... Get around the government scheme, and I think I'm gonna color match that fucking fancy new brown. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna offer fucking dust ins for people. <laughs> There'll be no fucking bullshit health hazards on there when I'm done. Oh, that'll be nice. So you just in. tidy them up. Just blow yeah. them in. Blow them in all one color. Yeah, quick drying aerosol can, just yeah. fucking shh, quick done. Everybody's happy. Yeah, it only needs to last a day too if you're a slow smoker. Yeah. When I'm awake, it's a pack a day. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm sleeping then. Less. Like they wanted to keep me smoking, clearly. Because mm -hmm. right. they picked right. my kind of color. Yeah. You know? It does match your sweater. And now if I just dust in this with a different brown two tone it. Like I can be so fucking quick yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, flat rated. And there's stacks of these, so yeah, I can yeah. and then I can get other guys on board. Yeah, yeah. I can have a crew of people working. In the interest of not uh Getting too far off the rails. We do have an actual <laughs> customer. We have an actual customer. Yeah, we job. did have a customer show. Have a customer job. Oh, Players Light. Light. 19, what year? 1989. Oh, yeah, yeah. Players Light. That's a good year. Yeah. Right? 19. Tobacco fields were doing really well in Virginia that 1981. year. 1981. Can we see that? Yeah. 1981. I don't see a difference. No oh, the embossing. No um, freaking Look at the way. embossing on the older one, Al. Oh. No embossing on the newer one. See that? You were just going about the embossing. You think that's embossing? No, the player's crest. Oh. Oh, there was. It did fuck off there. Right. Mm. This is nice. It's raised. raised. It's nice, right? See? doesn't even have the queen's birthday in there. Oh. Look at you before guys. you light that. Why don't you light oh. one of them? Look at that, eh? Dusky old light. That's crushed, eh? Those are white. If you can look, see that, I don't know, but there's a slight break there, right you know, at the top think? of the filter. Yeah. But I think if you just run a finger choke on it. Are you not even going to use the. Oh, nice. Justin taking the. What do you think? Oh, I don't like light cigarettes. Yeah. It's like a, breathing air. It's yeah. like breathing really old air. <laughs> it's just you stale know? air. It doesn't yeah. taste like anything. No. Because if you've ever sat by a piece of paper yeah. burning in a fireplace and yeah. you haven't opened the chimney, yeah, and then you kind of breathe in, yeah, that's yeah. kind of what this is like. Really old burning newspaper. Yeah, careful, it goes it's up. Going in. Yeah, the tip really goes up. Let's see. There, it's got a slight woody taste to it. Yeah, there's something bad. a bit woody, but it, I don't taste any tobacco. No. But I didn't expect that I would, because it is a light cigarette, after all. <laughs> for the sense. cigarettes, even though they're light, I still have respect for them, you know? <laughs> Burn that's the thing. Yeah. People can learn from that. That's Ooh. a little bit, you know? Yeah. That's not quite my speed, but I still have some respect for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what we're talking about. That was a nice trip down memory lane. Yeah, well. Nice you know, light. What did you think? Would you give him, uh, you know? It wasn't bad. You was know it what? better than the other old whatever we had last time? You know, it was smoother. Yeah. You it know what? I what I'd were get... those girls? Those, those were the Alpines. Yes. Yeah. Better than the Alpines? These or yeah. worse? Oh, they're so much smoother. It wasn't quite like burning magazines. 
These were everywhere, man. These were like the Ford Fairmont of cigarettes. These were just. I was like, gonna say, I bet right? you back in '81 they were great. Everybody still does you know, smoke them. Hey, you back. weren't here when the the gentleman Stephen came and picked up the dart. You rolled them from the last time's contest. No, I missed out on that. Yeah, that would have been nice to meet somebody actually willing to take that off that offer. You know. Well, hey, good for you. I hope you enjoyed it there, Stephen. Yeah. That, yeah, well bought. Yeah, I money say. well spent for sure. Yeah, I think I did have one of the beers he brought. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think Dean had the other 24. Yeah, it was probably 20, already. 23. <laughs> so do you guys ever remember this place? I've never been to the Bamboo Palace. Mm, that's a, a, a local probably landmark not. from back in the day. That's about, a beautiful fucking color. I need to paint a car of that color. Pretty close. <laughs> Actually, go get the paint chip. Is it pretty close to the Citroen? It's not bad, yeah. Probably pretty let's, close. Uh, let's have a yeah, look yeah, at the actual yeah, Citroen paint yeah. chips. Yeah. Sweet. I would take nice it shit. outside and smear it on my truck. You know? <laughs> 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 and we're back. I actually have the 1973 SM dealership pamphlet brochure color samples we're, and we're leather samples. We're in search samples. of brown. Okay, we're going All these on. other colors are not fucking not allowed. They're illegal. <laughs> illegal, right, yeah. illegal. Where's the brown? Oh, will the SM. Oh, the citron brown is pretty. Oh, oh it's not bad. but it's got metallics in it. That's going to draw the kids in. It's pretty close. Smoke pack brown it's is nicer. Bad. I'm not painted smoke pack brown. <laughs> Vetoing that. It's the stupidest But the government time. needs our money. That smoke pack <laughs> money that they get. You know, they need it, Scott. They need our money. Well, are you going to tidy the cigarette up? Yeah, we might as well try okay, and get it. Okay, give one a go, yeah. Might as well Great fucking idea. try and dust up this. This is the so last your one. your overall take was it's still a light cigarette. Overall was, taste, never was impressed with the idea. Even if it was brand new, you weren't impressed. I wasn't going to buy these, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. But I will restore one. Yeah, we'll fix one up because just because it ain't your thing. It's just like cars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's totally it. And we're gonna actually put this guy. Look at nice repair on that. Another and now what? You know, it doesn't have to look brand new. It's just gotta look just presentable. Just has to look presentable, <laughs> just like everything else. Just has to be sort of fucking presentable. What we're looking for is a, a original for, owner pack. Yeah, a twenty. Right? Maybe like a twenty uh, incher, you know. Yeah, just has to look good on the table. Yeah, once you get the magnifying glass out, yeah, you will you're find gonna flaws. find some flaws if you're gonna like judge it. It's not for judged competition, mm -mm. right? Look at that. Look at that. That really came back to life. Not bad. Probably could have used the iron. Yeah, it could have used. It still could use Let's further. Get the, get the nice pan yeah. job. It's 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 roughed out. We're seventy percent. It's, it's roughed. We're there. Wasn't this the same year? <laughs> Was that the same year? I'm not sure. That'd be cool. What year was that? Was it, uh, does that say 81 or 80? Is that an 81 or 84? I think it was 81. I think it's a one. Nuts. That's a one. That's for right, sure a one. That pack of that matches there. is from the same year. I'll smoke this one. <laughs> it's the best show on TV, really. It's, right? uh, just, uh, it's I mean, it's the best show that's not a show. We yeah. love cigarettes. I think a lot of people probably think I smoke. I think they do. I told you that would happen, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I said that to you. I was like, yeah, fuck, for sure everybody thinks you smoke, Scott. Instead, you just hang out with smokers because so you're, you're cheap. That's you know, right. It's He's like, looking like for you the buy free the shittiest smoke. cars I'm you can too find. Cheap you to love even cigarettes, but you won't so even buy them. You, you didn't smoke. quit because you cater to them. Man, you're building now. these smoking <laughs> lounges, <laughs> these lavish, right? the lavish uh, smoking, smoking headquarters. Like, oh, with all these fancy ashtrays to use, right? Yeah. You know? The future. It's in the brown, guys. It's in the <laughs> brown. brown. Brown, the future. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll give you the thumbs up. Out of the splint. Thumbs out yeah, of right? the splint. Hey, well, yeah, hey, yeah. yeah. Able to move its ultimate wrist oh, splice. Yeah. There we go, yeah. That's yeah, coming back around. Uh, yeah, so people wondering. And yeah, for anybody that really gives a fuck, which no, I believe which is, is zero, yeah. I would like to believe. <laughs> I just thought about it, you know, the orange filtered ones, they seem to only be on the harsher cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. And then as soon as they lighten the dart up, they put a white filter on it. So you can spot it. You can Seems lighter. Light cigarette. It's yeah. not as cool. Yeah. 
It's not quite as cool. That's the thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to smell you when I get home. <laughs> How many uh, circles are you going to do, Frank? <laughs> Just getting dizzy here, don't mind me. It looks like Frankers is going to put an end to a yet another awesome episode of Classic Darts. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, hey. that'll do. I think we've burned through some topics. Man. Right? Are you a Packard man? <laughs> yeah, man. I got lots of... Like, look at the room I got up here. Oh, this car is one of my friends, man. Look at this, eh? Woo. How many times when Scott doesn't realize I'm in his yard? Oh, right? yeah, you're in my yard. Hopefully he didn't see me. <laughs> Yeah, I'd never know it was you. Hopefully. <laughs> Fucking like, beer cans yeah. on the interior. <laughs> like, clink. <laughs> Make me an offer. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, say Don't. Just buy a good car, dude. Yeah, Look like, at my custom job. What do you guys yeah. think? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Man, yeah. that's how to take two ugly cars, put them together, and make something even worse. <laughs> this is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. <laughs>